I was that woman with a to-do list that was over a million miles long. I'd wake up and be exhausted before the day even took off, or sometimes the night before, I'd feel that anxiety that wouldn't let me sleep peacefully. Needless to say, it felt like I was always on the brink of burnout and just one task away from totally just throwing in the towel altogether. Can you relate to that feeling? Are you overwhelmed and exhausted by all of the things set in front of you, all of the things you're supposed to get done, all the things that you are expected to accomplish? If so, you're totally not alone. The cool thing is today I'm going to teach you one little small shift that you can make that helps you get in control of your day instead of allowing your day to control you. I am a huge advocate for personal development. Love it, it's like my jam. I'm all things personal development. But a few short years ago, before I really understood the importance of all the components of personal development, I knew that the systems and strategies and all the things I was trying just weren't working. So that's when I started to dig a little deeper and I got in touch with some information about mindset and how important it is to really get in control of your mindset. And even through my certification program of learning neuro-linguistic programming, one of the biggest takeaways for me was understanding that our subconscious mind cannot register negatives. What I mean by that is, let me give you an example. Say I tell you, don't think of a blue car. You literally have to think of a blue car in order to not think about it. And that's how our subconscious mind works. I could try to tell you not to do something or I could try to run away from negatives, but your subconscious mind actually attracts the very thing that you're trying to run away from because of the way you phrased it. Now, this concept freaking blew my mind because what most people don't know is that our subconscious mind controls 99.996% of our action and that's where lasting change takes place. But unfortunately, we're only taught to use our conscious mind, which is 0.004% of our day-to-day -day action, which really, in the long grand scheme of things, we need to be putting more effort into our subconscious mind. So that's when I realized it is so important for us to shift our thoughts, our beliefs, and our perspectives if we, in turn, want to be able to shift our outcome. Now, what does any of this have to do with the to-do list? Hold tight. Remember I said, when you say something negative, your subconscious mind can't register that and in fact thinks that that's the thing you're looking for. So when you have a to-do list and you're expressing exhaustion or frustration or overwhelm around your to-do list, you've normalized that. That's what your subconscious mind is looking for. But when you flip your perspective and you look at it as an opportunity of something to be grateful for, your subconscious mind also attracts that and looks for that as well. Now, how do you do that? In order to make that happen, instead of calling it a to-do list, change your perspective and call it a get-to-do list. Sure, it can be overwhelming. Sure, it can be exhausting or frustrating. But the reality is you get to do what tasks you'd like to put on your list. You get to do whatever it is that you set out to accomplish. And when we shift our perspective, we can shift our mindset, we can shift our words, and we can shift our thoughts, and we can shift our actions as it relates to that. So let me give you an example. Let's say that your boss puts a huge project on your plate and you're like, oh my gosh, I don't want to do this. That's the emotion you're carrying with you throughout the entire time of the project. And you're attracting more things at that energetic state that remind you to be exhausted, to remind you to be bitter or frustrated about the task. But if you flip it and you're like, you know what? I get to do this amazing task. My boss trusts me with this task. I'm really knowledgeable and skilled and that's why I get to do it. You're moving from a place of gratitude and gratitude is a high energy place to be at because you get to attract more things to be grateful for when you're operating from that place. So while it sounds really simple and kind of like, mm, I don't know if it's gonna work, I challenge you to actually try it. Instead of writing to-do list, write get to-do list. So you're moving from a positive and optimistic place and watch how your perspective changes. Watch how your actions change and watch how your results change as well. This is a tool and a strategy that I have not only used in my personal life, I've used it with my daughters, I have used it with my one-on-one -on -one clients, and it has allowed me to show up in creative and exciting new ways within my business and within my personal life because I recognize that the things that are on my list are the things that I get to choose to be grateful for. 
I've even recently taken it a step further and started to call it a manifestation list and looked at it almost like a game, like something that I could work towards each day. So when I list all the things that I need to get done, I look at it like, what can I manifest? What can I bring into fruition today? And that allows me to acknowledge my power and really step into it. And when I say this has blown my mind and transformed my life, I truly mean it. And this is why I'm such a big advocate, not only about mindset, but about setting the intention and taking aligned action so that you can accomplish the things that you need to accomplish. Here's the thing, you may think that I'm oversimplifying it or downplaying it, but the reality is try it. It is going to blow your mind and change your life because you're literally changing your mindset, you're literally changing your energy, you're literally changing your actions, and in turn, you're literally changing your results. So I challenge you to join me on this journey. You are going to be so grateful that you did. So your get to do task for today is to write out your get to do or manifestation list. And for each thing that you list, I want you to say gratitude around that. I'm so happy and grateful that I get to go to work today. I'm so happy and grateful that I get to log into the course portal and do modules. I'm so happy and grateful that I get to read 10 pages in my personal development to help me grow. I'm so happy and grateful that I get to dedicate and invest in my body by moving my body through exercise at the gym this evening. I'm so happy and grateful that I get to do story time with my children. And I'm so happy and grateful that I get to get eight hours of sleep. Whatever your to-do list is, that's just an example. But I want you to come from a place of gratitude because remember, gratitude begets more gratitude. And when you write out your list, I want you to get started with your day, super high vibe, super excited, knowing that's what's in front of you is far greater than what's behind. And I want you to hold tight to that emotion throughout the day and watch how it begins to shift and change your life in ways that you can't even begin to fathom yet. If you're looking for some more support, some more tools, and some more strategies to really be able to not only increase your productivity, but also to be able to increase your success, I have just the thing for you. Down below, you can use the link to join my EFT Tapping for Productivity 3-Day Challenge. And through these three days, you will be giving tapping videos to help you literally change your energetic state so that you can shift the way you respond to the things that you need to accomplish each day and overall increase your productivity and your success. So use the link below to join us and I look forward to seeing you on the inside. Until next time, make sure you hit like and subscribe and I will chat with you guys later.